Hi, I'm Steve. I'm going to share my thoughts on how you can achieve a better financial future. Please remember, I don't know anything about your situation, so think for yourself and use what fits. Congratulations! You've either started making real money or perhaps you've decided to hit the restart button and get a better grip on your financial life. Either way, the question is where to start and what the path forward might look like. I'd like to begin with a couple of areas I think should be at the top of your list. And then beyond that, where it's a little more gray, offer some things to consider as you plot that path to a better financial future. First, save about three months of living expenses and put it in a savings account. You'll worry a lot less with this in place. You don't want to experience a small bump in the financial road and find the wolf at your door. And if you do need to tap the emergency savings, refill it as quickly as possible. A little handy cash can go a long ways when you need it. Second, pay off any credit card balances. Improving your net worth with a lot of credit card debt is pretty tough. The money spent on interest for a $20,000 credit card debt could finance a very decent retirement. Instead, it just goes down the drain. With those out of the way, there are a lot of great places to set aside money. Here are three important considerations. First, can you get free money? Many employers will match at least some of your contribution to a 401k or 403b account. This is obviously very attractive. Second, will you get a tax break? Most retirement plans have tax benefits. This is just as good as free money. It's money you don't have to give to Uncle Sam. And third, minimize fees. Over the long haul, keeping fees to a bare minimum can make a big difference in how much you have down the road. Take a look at this example. An investment of $10,000 that grows at 7% a year for 40 years will end up being worth about $150,000. Pay an extra 1% annual fee and you'll end up with only $103,000. That's quite a difference. Now with those thoughts in mind, I would prioritize retirement savings simply because no one else will do it for you. If you have to pick, do this before you fund your kid's college education. I know it sounds bad, but the kids will have a lifetime of earnings ahead of them and might qualify for loan forgiveness. You, on the other hand, won't find anyone else to fund your retirement. Well, that's it for this session. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.